Hi everyone, and welcome to today's running review. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the similarities and the differences between the Ultimate Direction Ultra Vest 5.0 and the recently released Ultra Vest 6.0. So here we go. Okay, so before I go through the similarities and differences between the two vests, I just thought I'd give you guys a few of the stats and figures about this brand new 6.0 model. So the vest weighs in at 230 grams, and it can hold a capacity of 10.3 litres. It features the new Comfort Cinch System 3.0 here on the back, and it's also been completely redesigned with more padding to give you a better wrap around fit on your body. The vest is available here in the UK for around about £125. So, with all that out of the way, I'm going to take this vest off, get them side by side, and we're going to go through some of the similarities and differences between these two models. Okay, so over here on the left is the Ultra Vest 6.0, and this is the previous model, the 5.0. So as you can see straight away, there are a few similarities, but there are also a couple of differences between these two vests. So I'm going to start off at the top here so as you can see both feature this little waterproof pocket here on your shoulder and they also both come with a little emergency whistle uh, the first change happens here so this is in the previous model it features these two little elasticated straps here which basically designed to hold your water bladder hose if you use a bladder for your hydration system they've chosen to remove those on the new model and they've replaced them with these removable straps which you can sort of feed through and then use that and then they basically do the same job as the permanently fixed versions over here i've chosen to take mine off purely because i don't actually use a bladder for my hydration so i just wanted to take it off just to make the vest look a little bit cleaner and not have a uh, random little toggle slapping around so moving down both feature pretty much identical bottle pockets in terms of attachment here on the top they both feature these draw cords which are used to loop over the top of your bottle just to stop them from dropping into the pocket but there have been a few different changes made between this version and the previous version. Uh, most notably is the loss of the two little pockets here on the front of the bottle pocket. Um, so they've been removed on the new version. Um, I didn't really find too much use for these because once you had the bottles in there, the pockets were too small anyway. So you couldn't really get much use out of these little bottle pockets. So losing them is definitely not a deal breaker, but it is something to be aware of in terms of the overall storage of the vest because without the loss of these little pockets here you do lose a little bit of capacity i think it's about 0.3 of a liter or something so nothing major but it's something to be aware of um, the next thing is also the material that they've used the material on the previous version here was slightly less elasticated so it didn't have much give however the new version is very elasticated and it also, I don't know, it just seems to be a little bit bigger in terms of the pocket size itself. So the bottles do go in a lot easier than they do on the previous version. But there is also an issue with these, which I will go over at the end of the video. So next up on the front of these vests is the sternum straps. So there have been a few changes here between the two models. The previous model here on the right featured this hook and clip system, which was designed to hook over these little strings. And tighten that way however on the new version they've gone back to the tried and true classic clip so just pinch the sides there and it easily comes undone i do much prefer these clips on this new version of the vest because during colder weather when you're wearing gloves and you have cold hands this hook loop system is very difficult to do up i mean after a while you do get used to it however it is a bit fiddly so i do much prefer the ease of use of these clips Moving down on the vest as well, you've got these little front pockets here. Again, a few differences um, in the new version from the previous version, and that is a loss of a zip pocket on the front here. So the previous version did feature this zip pocket, which I do like because it was good for storing valuable items like your phone and keys, etc. But in terms of size and storage, 
uh, capacity. There's no difference between this version and the previous version, but I do think it is nice to have that little included zip. However, on the new version of the 6.0 vest, um, they have added a extra pocket here, which is behind the bottle pocket, and that can be used to house a mobile phone. It's waterproof lined, so it'll keep everything nice and dry inside. So it's, again, the loss of that pocket isn't a massive deal breaker because you have got extra phone storage here on the chest should you need it. Okay, so then moving behind the straps of the bags onto the actual backrest part, um, you can see instantly some big differences here between the two vests. So over here on the old version, the 5.0, you can see this exposed comfort cinch system here. So this is the old version, which is the 2.0. And um, this did come under quite a bit of criticism from some runners um, where they found that this was sort of like rubbing their back during longer runs. Um, me personally, I didn't suffer with that, but um, it's something that uh, Ultimate Direction have addressed here in the new version. And they've added some extra padding which has also unfortunately made the vest gain a little bit of weight. However, I do think that this extra padding and the comfort that this gives you with the new wraparound design is far better to gain weight and be comfortable on the longer runs than it is to be irritated and maybe potentially chafing. So yeah, the added weight gain and the redesign I think is much better than trying to save weight. So as you can also see here, it's much wider at the bottom around the bottom of the pack. So this here is designed just to give you a real good wrap around fit and uh, yeah, just get rid of any irritation that you might get on the lower back. So again, really, really great redesign here. And this is probably one of the main things that draw me to this new version of the pack. So well done Ultimate Direction, great, great redesign on that bit there. Okay, so onto the backs of these vests. So as you can see instantly, there has been a bit of a change in design of these two. So over here on the previous version, it did feature this big Ultimate Direction branding here. And it's been changed for a sort of a more minimalist design here on the new version. However, I do prefer this version here purely for the fact that all of this Ultimate here is all reflective, which I think is really good from a safety standpoint. And the Ultimate Direction here, yes, the whole logo is reflective and you can see the whole of the Ultimate Direction. However, it is rather small. And I do like the fact that this is one, basically one massive reflective strip. So I do prefer that on the previous version. However, it's not a massive deal breaker really at the end of the day. I'm glad to see the Ultimate Direction are still using these uh, cinch points here to keep everything nice and cinched and locked down when you've got the vest fully packed out. So again, that works pretty much identically how it did on the previous version. Uh, pocket wise, You've got these sort of new pockets here on the new version here. So these ones feature slightly lower down and with a bit of work and a bit of practice, you can actually use these while you're on the move. On the previous version here, you could only get access to this sort of little one here on the bottom. It did also feature another one over here on the left, but this one here was pretty much inaccessible because your arms couldn't really sort of contort to get to that. So you did have to remove the vest to get to that little pocket here up on the on the 5.0 version. There's also been a change in design of the zip. So the new version here features sort of like a more of a clamshell where you can sort of unzip the whole vest and open it up. However, here on the old version, you just had access to the top corner and you sort of had to peel it back that way. Um, so in terms of getting things in and out of the vest, the new version is much better than the previous version. So yeah, I think, that's about it in terms of similarities and differences. If you're interested in pole carrying options, both of these vests do have very similar options um, for you. Um, you can have them either here attached to the front, which goes between this strap here and also another bungee down here. So you can attach them to the front, or you can also use those removable bungees that I mentioned earlier to attach them to the bottom here. So you can run them along the back of the vest. And on the old version, again, as I mentioned before, in my previous review video of this vest, you can run them from here to here on the front. And then you have absolutely no option for them on the back. So in terms of pole carrying, the new version definitely gets the one up from the previous version. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, 
When I initially got this vest, I had been having a few issues with the bottle pockets on the front here. Um, so as I mentioned, these new bottle pockets have been redesigned and they do have different fabric and they're also slightly larger than the previous version. So in terms of the bottles going into these pockets, because they are larger and stretchier, they do go in a lot easier than the previous version. So in terms of getting speed through aid stations, these new changes have been an improvement. However, I did notice the bottles were slipping down a lot. Even when you use the elasticated drawstring around the neck of the bottle, that still became a problem. So to combat this, I used a couple of the included straps that I mentioned earlier, just to go across the front here. And um, what I've been doing as I've been drinking the fluids from the bottles, I've just been cinching these down ever so slightly, every time I have a sip, every now and again, just give them a little crank down on those little straps and it locks the bottles in and it keeps it all snug to you, gets rid of the bounce and basically keeps the bottles up high where they should be on your chest and it's basically just a little workaround that I've found over the time that I've been using this vest. So if that little tip there helps you, if you get the vest in the future, something to be aware of if you're struggling with these bottles, give this little tip a go and hopefully it'll work for you. But I think that's it. In terms of the new 6.0 vest, I definitely do think it is a big upgrade over the 5.0. I think in terms of comfort, this vest here has got the edge over the previous version. But that said, the previous version it is a little bit lighter. So if you do prefer the lightness and the racy feel of a lighter vest, then maybe the 5.0 version for you. But if you are taking on these longer races where comfort is very important, I definitely don't think that you can be the Ultimate Direction Ultra Vest 6.0. So if you have any other questions about this vest, please do drop them down in the comments below and I'll answer them as best I can. But um, I think that's about it for this video, guys. If you like what you've seen today, please press the like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more running related content like this. So that's it. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all in another video. Peace.